Hi, it's Santa Ed Taylor, the Internet Marketing Coach. And if you're at all like me, you probably listen to audiobooks. I, I, I love audiobooks, listen to them all the time. Typically, I buy them on Audible, and it, it makes it very, very simple to, to load them onto iTunes and then onto the, onto the phone and so forth. But I just bought this book, this Go Givers book, and I happened to buy it on CD, which is fine. But if you're using iTunes, um, you might find that, that sometimes if you're doing if you're loading CDs audiobook CDs that have many uh, components many chunks within each CD sometimes when you're playing them back those those chunks get mixed up they get confused and so you're not listening to the book in order so that can be kind of frustrating I found there's a real easy way around that but uh, it took me a while to figure that out and I thought if you hadn't heard of it yet I'd just share you the the process with you right now so I, I've already imported a couple of the uh, CDs so I'm on disk 3 right now and and what happens I just put it in I and I get prompted for this would you like to import and normally of course we would just say yes to that but I'm gonna say no so I'm gonna say no and then I'm gonna come up here to the advanced menu and I'm gonna say uh, um, what I want to do is I want to grab these first I want to come up here and grab all these and then I want to say advanced and I want to say join CD tracks and then I want to import so down at the bottom let me move this so you can see so down at the bottom over here it says import CD and then you can import and then it'll start importing and all these tracks will be put together so when I put these into my playlist it'll play the, them all in order so disc one will play then disc two then disc three and within each disc all these will be uh, um, contiguous they'll all be in proper order so uh, that's it for now I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to this in just a second and show you another way to what to a couple of settings within iTunes that you might find beneficial as well so uh, I'm gonna pause this and I'll get back to you in a minute okay I'm back I've uploaded all of the uh, the the discs you can see I have disc one disc two disc three disc four so here's the next step what I want to do is I want to uh, go to the get info tab so what I did there is I right clicked on the mouse went to get info and then under the get info what I'm under is the options button and I want to go in here and I want to say remember playback position skip when shuffling and part of a gapless album and then say okay with that and then go in and do the same thing again just se select the next one you can just go right back again get info go to the options click 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 and then say OK and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other two discs and then just going to import them into uh, my phone I'll put them on a on a playlist and um, and I'll have it all done and that way all of the tracks are going to play in order all of the the discs of course will play in order and it, it it's terrific so it's allevi alleviate a, a bunch of uh, of frustration if you have been importing CDs, audiobook CDs, and and getting playbacks that weren't uh, in order, that can be very frustrating. And this is a simple way to solve it. So again, this is Santa Ed Taylor, the Internet Marketing Coach, signing off.